If you want to start using Instagram Shops to be able to tag the product in your post and start making sales completely for free, in this video, I'll show you exactly what you need to do step by step. So let's get right into it. So in order to build and create an Instagram shop, you first have to create the Facebook shop, or at least you have to create it from the Facebook interface, right? So you go right here to facebook.com forward slash commerce underscore manager. And in order to even get to this point, you need to have a Facebook business page and a Facebook business account, right? Like the actual business manager account. And uh, I'm not gonna walk you through about that process because I'll put some links in the description that you can watch the tutorials over there. But if you're interested about uh, Instagram and Facebook shops, obviously you already know that. So you need a Facebook business page and a Facebook business account in order to get to the facebook.com forward slash commerce underscore manager. So you're gonna add the new shop and once you do that, there are a couple of things that you wanna keep in mind. Number one is you, if you already have a Shopify account, um, you can just sync it and integrate it with this so you don't have to create a completely, you know, brand new shop from scratch. You can actually integrate your current Shopify store with the Facebook shop. But if you don't have one, that's totally fine. You only need a Facebook business page and um, you also need your Instagram account to be a business account, right? It's very important because Instagram accounts could be personal accounts, um, business accounts, and also creator accounts, right? Like for example, if you're video creator, um, influencer, blogger, but in order to actually be able to tag products in your Instagram post, your Instagram account has to be a business account. So keep that in mind and uh, don't worry, stick around just a couple more minutes. And by the way, keep in mind, timestamps are in the description below. So if you want to fast forward, you'll see all the uh, times down there. So um, I'm going to create quickly a test shop. And just to walk you through the process real quick, it's super simple, um, nothing complicated. And then I'll show you what to do on the Instagram side of things. So if you're creating the actual shop, Obviously, you're gonna have to put all of these things in here. Uh, I have some notes in here that says no bank account, no tax, no real product catalog needed. Actually, you will need a full bank account. You will need a tax and payment information. <laughs> so you and and you will need um, a product catalog. So keep that in mind, right? So I'm just gonna walk you through real quick on how to do this. I'm just gonna uh, name these marketing funnels. Just gonna hit next, um, create a new page, because I don't, uh, I mean, I have one and I'll show you that integration in just a moment, but if you're creating from scratch, this is what you do it. I'll put the name Marketing Funnels. I'll put it as, um, um, let's see what, I put it as brand. I'm creating the page in here. And again, um, when you create the actual uh, shop, you will be able to just integrate your current page so you don't have to create a brand new one. So keep that in mind. Uh, you don't have to do it from scratch. So I'm just gonna use, and here's where, remember that I told you, you need a Facebook business account. So, you know, this is my actual agency business account. So keep in mind, you won't be able to do that if you don't have one. Now, if you don't have one, right here on the bottom, you don't see it on my end, but you'll see a button that says create business account or create new account. So you'll be able to just click that button and do it. Um, mine, it's already created, so I don't have to do it. So I'm just gonna finish setup. It's gonna ask me some basic information about business account tax and all that. However, it's, it's nothing um, that takes too much. So I'm just gonna hit next. This is the catalog, so you'll have to create one from scratch. Now, super important. Initially, these shops were mainly created for people that sell physical products. So for those of you that sell eBooks, um, services, any type of like, let's say marketing courses or things like that, most likely you will need a Shopify integration in order to sell that because Facebook um, usually is not a big fan of it. But with Shopify, you can actually make it happen. Standard shipping, um, even if it's a just a course or if it's a digital ebook or something like that, digital ebook, if it's just an ebook or a digital course, 
you do want to set up um, standard shipping. Even if you don't have it, it doesn't matter. It has to be in there. So keep that in mind. Leave the, the, the return days at 30. As you can see, this button here is this button here it's not clickable however if you delete it and write 30 again um, it will activate as soon as you put your email boom but if i delete the 30 it's not going to be in here right so you need to make sure that you delete and you write 30 put your email address in here it has to be a business address a business email address now in here you'll put the um, a business account obviously i don't need one but um, you will need one whatsoever. And you need to make sure you select the state. So for those of you that are international bank accounts, this may work, but you may need to um, integrate it with PayPal. And uh, you know, obviously some of you hate, I'm not a big fan of PayPal, but it is what it is. So in here, uh, what do you sell? Let's say if it's do they yes they do management consulting and public relation services which is going to hit next it's going to give you a state tax registration number now for those of you that are international i can't really advise you on that you may need to contact facebook support um, to let you know about it but i'm going to hit next business type it's actually an llc but it doesn't give you the option for an llc i'm just going to put marketing funnels Put my name in here super quick nothing it doesn't have to be your actual date i'm just gonna put um the year that i was born and then that's it just gonna hit next so you're gonna have to actually put your bank routing number bank account information confirm bank account what's the name of your bank um don't bother copying these numbers because <laughs> these are just fake. Obviously, I would have blurred this out uh, if you would have been real, but I'm gonna finish setup now. And the actual uh, Facebook shop, essentially it's completed, right? So you gotta go to the commerce manager and now you have to add some, um, some products, right? So you don't need more than a product at first however if you want to have um, an actual shop with collections and catalog collections and things like that you're gonna have to add at least um, two products to create a collection of it so this is how we add items to our shop right like you just add an item add manually hit next oh you have to actually select it hit next now, if you don't know how to create images and all this, you can go to Canva and right here you can search for um, shop. And if you put shop, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see, Facebook shops cover shop um, Shopify. <laughs> Let's see Instagram. I don't know if they have Instagram shop examples They're having some Facebook shop. Let's let's go for Facebook ad shop. Well, unfortunately, these are landscape mode. So let's do an Instagram post only. Instagram post. Let's see if we find one that we like. It's going to be super simple so we don't lose time on this one. So let's let's go for this one and let's say how to grow my business. Because that's what the funnel, right? Like if it's um, a marketing funnel, just download this, right? And it's a square image, right? So I got to go back to Commerce Manager. Let's see where we at. There you go. So I'm going to add images. See where is the one that we just created. There you go. I'm going to hit open. We're going to call it marketing funnels. I'm going to put websites 
and landing pages. We'll call it a hundred bucks. Brand new. Not sure if he's gonna ask us for. Okay, so we're gonna hit next. Upload a valid file. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is where you add your file, not not below. This is where you add additional images. <laughs> But it's all good. Gonna hit next. He's gonna ask you how many um, items. Now, one thing to keep in mind is when you add an inventory number, like how many items you actually have in your store, even if it's a digital product, uh, but if you try to do the checkout on Facebook or on Instagram in this case, you need to update these manually. So I'm gonna put 100 so I don't have to come back to it too often. Um, return policy, 30 days, hit next, and reformatting your description so your items don't use all uppercase letter. Okay, so this is good to know. So keep that in mind, don't write your um, description. Let's also make sure the title is not all caps. Marketing funnels. websites and um, landing pages let's hit next now it should be good to go awesome so you can add another item or um, you can just leave it like this and now you have one product in here all right so now that you've done this now let's go to instagram and see how you integrate the instagram account with the business page that with the um, shop that you just created so all right so i'm on an instagram account this is just a travel account so what you'll have to do is you'll have to go all the way to the right top corner with the three lines for the drop down menu so i click on that you gotta go to settings um you're gonna have to click on account and i'm in the business account now so i'm gonna switch to creator and then switch back to business so you see what i mean so I click again to account and then I have this option that says switch to a business. It has to be a business account. Otherwise, you won't be able to use this, right? So right here, you see the business tab. I'm going to click on that and I have this option that says set up Instagram shopping. So I'm going to click on that and it asks me, you know, open your Instagram, uh, open your shop on Instagram, add a shop to your profile, tag products, get insights and all that. I'm going to hit get started. So as you can see, it asks me to connect the Facebook page that it's connected with the Instagram account. But remember, the only way to do that, you need to have the Facebook business page and the Facebook and the Instagram business account so you can connect the two. So I'm just gonna hit next. Now it's gonna ask me what catalog I want to have uh, the shop listed with. So now obviously this is just a test uh, product, but I'm just gonna select it. Uh, most likely they won't approve it right away because it's a test product. Uh, but you guys get the point. You will be able to either use the integration if you have one with Shopify or just select the catalog that it's already active for you. So I'm just gonna hit next with the first one. We're gonna do, let's do this one and see if it works. So it even says ready for review. I'm gonna submit it for review and pretty much this is the last step that you need to do and then you have to wait usually two to seven days for this to be uh, approved or rejected and if it gets rejected don't stress it too much it's just a matter of um, you proving that your product is actually selling on either on instagram if it's a physical product or if it's a digital product ebook courses coaching services things like that you have to have a Shopify account, otherwise it won't work. If you're selling anything else other than physical products, you need to have a Shopify integration so Facebook um, will allow you to do that, all right? So let me know in the comments if you did this integration, um, if it worked, or if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below and don't go anywhere. Can in the next video coming up, I'll show you how to promote your products and how to actually run ads so you can get more exposure and make more money. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you in the next video. I think you'll enjoy it.